reactions are continuing to pour in tonight about Griner's release from people all across the country, including her loved ones here in her hometown of Houston. Fox 26's Natalie, he spoke with Griner's former basketball coach. She joins us live from Nimitz High School in North Houston. Natalie. Well, Jonathan, it was here at Nimitz High School where Brittany Griner began her basketball career more than a decade ago. Her former basketball coach here at Nimitz High School says she literally jumped for joy this morning upon hearing the news that Brittany was finally free. I never lost hope, and I would try to, to send thought waves to Brittany. Don't give up. Don't give up keep that fighting spirit that I always saw in high school. For the last 10 months, Debbie Jackson says she prayed every day for the safe return of her former student, 32-year-old Brittany Griner. Debbie believes the Houston native was being used as a political pawn and thought she'd have to wait years before Griner's release. I'd love to give her a great big bear hug and just tell her I love her. It's the best Christmas present. I could ask for. The Nimitz High School and Baylor alum is a WNBA basketball star and two-time Olympian. She was detained by Russian officials in February over the discovery of cannabis oil cartridges in her luggage. Greiner's release is part of a prisoner exchange deal for international arms dealer Victor Bout, known as the Merchant of Death. Nobody would disagree that this was not, that this was an ideal trade. If we could have done something different, uh, but we're not dealing with a rational government with the same um, the same values we have. The swap was highly scrutinized Thursday as it left U.S. Marine Paul Whelan, who was convicted on espionage charges, in Russian custody. U.S. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, who worked with negotiators on the deal, assures Americans they're safe. This arms dealer has already served more than half of his sentence. Uh, he is no longer technologically relevant. Um, Wherever he goes, we will have an understanding, meaning our operatives will know where he is. But I can assure you that um, I feel comfortable that this is not a threat to the United States. Now, in a statement, Aldine ISD said in part, quote, this is amazing news for Brittany Griner, her family, and her present and past teammates. And Mayor Sylvester Turner also said that Houston City Hall will be lit up in red, white, and blue tonight in honor of Brittany Griner coming home. From North Houston tonight, Natalie He, Fox 26 News.